What's going on, everybody? Man's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Visually Blind in Hero Mode. Jeez, that is so long to say. Uh, in the last episode, we finished up with the first floor, which, holy crap, is actually. I mean, I actually did quite a bit in the last episode. Look at that. We pretty much covered that entire floor. Mine's the first three rooms. Um, I don't know how to deal with these. I don't know how to deal with them. And I also see that over there. Can we just fly over there? I really hope we can, because I'm going to go for it. Yep. Oh! <laughs> no! Oh, no! I was up there. Medley, I'm sorry. Dude. I don't even want to go for it, but trust me, you don't want her. You don't want her, man. Is there any treasure chest in this room? There's not? Oh, you're not dead? Okay. <laughs> um, I just, you know what? You know what? I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it today, dude. I'm sorry. You're done. Yeah, a really cool combo in this game, I know, for sure, is the... Uh, Freaking uh, ice arrows and skull hammer. Those help a lot. With pretty much all the things. Whoa, that was weird. I didn't expect that one pot to explode like that. That's okay, that's, is there anything over here? No? Alright, well, we might as well spend this time since we need to fly Medley up anyways to see if there's anything even in this way. I mean, there should be, but there's no treasure chest. And yeah, oddly enough, you can fly through this pink mess. What? Maybe some over there then. Huh. I just gotta aim myself better. That's probably what I gotta do here. Oh, I can see the bubbles in the background. Alright, press the R. We're running pretty low on hearts here, you guys. I'm trying to try Well, then again, I do have a fairy still. Plus, there, there was that jar with the fairies last episode. No, two episodes ago. It was at the end of. The not last episode, the episode before that. Where we hit a jar and there's two fairies in it for some reason. Just a random jar. Right in the room where we got the dungeon mat or compass, I should say. Okay, let's aim this better. Cool. There's gotta be like a bunch of rupees or some crap. No! Dang it! Ah, oh, I pressed B to let go. Oh man. That's bullocks, man. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm back. Pick her up again and try one more time. We'll be okay. Okay, actually, we we're. This was a good angle before. I just gotta press A to let go. Huh. Huh. Uh, I don't feel like I can make that jump, but just in case. Yay! This Joe. Yeah, you don't do anything. Against these. No, 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 no. <laughs> just be still, Medley. Look at the flowers or something. Um, oh, come on, dude, he's like, oh, come on, no, come on, he's like right there. Jeez. All right, pick her up. Better be worth it. What's going to be in here? Oh, great, like five rupees. Wow, they make it look like a lot. Seriously? Nothing at all? Out of pure curiosity, what would happen in old Zelda style if we did this? I want to stand back there, Medley. Oh no. I actually didn't want to do that. <laughs> well, oh no, Medley. We're actually going to leave that for now. Because that is a. That is an important thing in a side quest later. How do we even get over here without Medley? Is there a way? Oh, you know what? I bet I could do that with my Deku Leaf. Should I just get it while I'm here? Nah, we'll leave it. I'm sure there's a way to get it without it. If there isn't, well, that's going to be terrible news for me. Anyways, thank you guys for what I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> whatever I say anyways like that, just, it just makes me feel like I'm going to end the episode. I don't know if there's a way to... No, no it's not. So as we've tried before, arrows aren't really effective against these assholes, right? Yeah, well, actually, they are against the normal bubbles not these ones yeah okay so as you would imagine the ones with the blue fuzz like this whoa okay all right uh-huh come on yeah done i love just killing like every enemy in this game <laughs> all right let's 
do this. No, wrong way. Um, it's interesting how they make you replay the song because we've we're already in the temple, so when we wouldn't we have needed the song to get into the beginning part of the temple anyways. I mean, I guess this is Nintendo's way of trying to make use of the fact of the song that we are only need like once to get medley and then once to open up the temple. And that's it for the entire game. I guess this is their way of trying to give the song more purpose, but it seems, seems kind of unneeded to me. Hey look, it's the second hub of this dungeon. Oh, good lord. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, if we, if we use light against these guys, I think it kills them eventually, right? No? Does it not? Really? It just stuns them. Anyways, makes them easier to kill, that's for sure. I could have sworn if, like... No! Yeah, I could have sworn if you use light, it'll get them long enough to kill them, but apparently I'm wrong. I don't freaking know. And they take three years to die. No! I'm pressing... God dang it. I'm pressing... I'm pressing the shield button. You cast my on that, but it's calling medley instead. Uh, there is another one over there. Okay, so what happened? You know, let's just clear this room. Also, look at just look at these statues. They've always looked so weird to me. Can I just just look at it? Oh man, the camera just flips out when I get too close to it. It just—it's a giant like helmet on this like weird elephant-esque creature. I don't know. Something about it's not really creepy to me, but it's just weird. <laughs> Weird me out, man. It's wiggity wiggity wack, yo. Can we use light against the tapestries? I kind of feel like we can for some reason. No, we can't. Okay, I was going to say, if you could, that'd be a bit weird to be fair. All right, cast light on these giant light bulbs here. It does that. Yay. Except we could have just done that as well. And is that just going to... Yeah, that would have just broken that statue as well. But we don't even need to do that. As you guys saw, I didn't do that. <laughs> Anything at all? Magic that I don't really care at all about. And nothing. Super. Fantastic. Love my life. 8 out of 8, mate. Which way do you want to go first? Let's consult her map. Well, the boss is on this floor, so maybe let's go this way for- wait. Oops. There we go. Oh, well, I guess we should go this way first, right? Medley is following me. Wait, can, can she follow me? If she's already following me, will she follow me through the room here? She doesn't, does she? Oh, she does! I'm pretty sure that's an addition to this game. Okay, then. Oh, no. Medley, you're gonna stay here. I hear floor masters, and this is an area where you can't use anything. I just freaking run. <laughs> eh, I don't think there's anything vital in this room. Oh, actually, there's gotta be. You got a smucky! Yeah, there we go. And then, for some reason, that causes the room to be uncursed. I don't freak understand it. Now, I mean, part of you might just want to quickly run through this room and leave. But if you kill everything, you get a special little prize present. Uh, huh. Thankfully. No, no, no. It's so confusing what button does what in this game. So I'm still not used to the fact that the kick to this game... The, the Wii U has two bumper buttons now. It's so weird to me. Alright. Oh no! Press the wrong button again! I'm trying, you guys. What the heck? It didn't work. <laughs> Bam! Yeah, thankfully the, these guys seem more um, interested in going after the skulls instead of you. Maybe I should stop wasting my arrows and stuff on them. Well, maybe not. I mean, let's face it. Just freaking... Jeez, like, geez. <laughs> it's just magic and stuff, but I'm going to get back regardless, uh, one rupee. See, I thought maybe that's what was giving me more rupees, but maybe the game's become keen what I'm trying to do here. See, I don't, it's kind of scary attacking these guys with just straight up with your sword, because sometimes they'll just grab you and just pull you in without any warning. I think mostly it's if you step right onto where their hand comes out. Okay, good, they killed him. Phew. Because, yeah, if you guys didn't notice, there's actually another treasure chest in this room. Medley's kind of obscuring it. I think that was the last guy, right? Yeah, it was. Very obscure treasure chest, but there we go. We got it. We got it. 
Open the chest, get on the flow. Let's see what's in this treasure chest. And... We got the treasure chest. Open the chest of the map screen and the place where treasure lies up lies will be lit up. So to that area and use the chart to find the treasure. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, that was the entire purpose of this room. And also, I am still really shocked. I haven't taken any more damage. Then again, most of the enemies that we fought recently are ones that could either be like stunned completely, such as the um, uh, what's what's it called? We're actually, we're gonna want to not go this way yet. Yeah, okay, we want to go this way first. Yeah, most of the enemies we've seen have just been like four masters would just kind of grab you or they throw skulls at you when it's stupid. Also, I don't understand why is this a thing. Why, why why must I push this block? It seems really kind of last minute thrown in, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. It's not a very exactly thought out puzzle. Because, I mean, seriously, you're just pushing a block and that's that's it. That's it. Story done. Okay, now, I think if I remember to do this puzzle correctly. Ooh! I mean, oh, that does make you drop your thing. There's no point. We're going to be coming through this room anyways again, so we're just going to... Oh dang it. Well, whatever. Stupid. Does it just leave me when I leave the room? Oh, it does. Okay. It's like, oh, well, screw this. I don't know where I am. Oh, by the way, if you're cursed by a Poe and you walk into the light, it uh, immediately makes them die. So, it immediately uncurses you. So, this is the room actually right beside where Bentley was. Alright. Climb out there. Thankfully, you could still climb. Interesting, I could pull these. Like, I mean, you don't need the power bracelets. Wait, do you? I guess you do need the power bracelets to come here. Huh, well, never mind then. I was gonna say, it's interesting I can push that without the power bracelets, but, well, I'm stupid. Alright. Oh, I, I forgot, this uses magic. Not very much, but. <laughs> Another freaking joy pendant. Great. Guess we might as well get it. <clears throat> right, we do need joy pendants still. We haven't been seeing too many book wins. Book blends. Alright, there we go. Ah, uh, you're giving me a pain till the end, aren't you, Joy Penance? Much as I freaking hate you. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've put that lamp in place, it's just skull hammer. I mean, you could have just done this first as well. Do, 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 do. I think if you leave this room, this will actually change. As in, it won't stay where you pushed it, I think. I could be wrong about that, but I mean, it would make sense, right? Let's just do that. I don't think enemies are interested in fighting you, minus like floor masters, right? Yeah, this is where it gets kind of a big pain in the PP. No, oh, come on. Come on, there we go. And yeah, you need Medley to be the one in this room. There's another one over there. Although it doesn't really matter because they do run around for a little while, but you can't really do anything about it because you still need to kill them. You still need to ooh, kill them, you know? See, this is where the reflection becomes an issue because, I mean, the light is going this way, so once you turn around a certain angle, you can't reflect it anymore, right? So because of... Oh, I know what... Actually, I know what to do here. What we need to do because of that is we need to shine the light back this way. CR, and then now the blade's coming back at us. We do this, maybe, right? Come on, get away, Po. Pow, Tinky Winky, Dixie, la la, Po. Yeah, this room was really memorable to me because I think it took me a very, very, very long time for me to figure out that puzzle. No, no, no! He tried to grab me. Ooh, they're trying to grab me again. Ooh, girl. Stop throwing your crap at me though, that was a blue rupee, that would have been nice, but oh well. Oh well, I'm gonna actually take that magic, because as weird as it sounds, I actually need it, which is a weird thing to say in this game. Um, <laughs> this was hero mode, actually I was gonna say, if hero mode introduced, like not giving you any like useful items besides like rupees and stuff in pots, that would be even more scary, or useful I should say. Alright, so I did take care of everything in here, right? Oh boy. Okay, now let's kill all the things. Come on, assholes. Oh, you're still alive? Jeez. Come on. Bam! 
<laughs> I just love how they're all visible. I didn't, I didn't even do anything with most of these guys. Uh, I guess that's the one I was initially attacking. So I only took one hit. Yay, everything's dead. Are you happy now, Medley? I would have done it, I promise you, but I couldn't. There's another room with that symbol on it. I don't actually know if that means anything. Whoa, hold on a second. Are we coming to the boss already? How do we get to that? Oh, I see. Because the boss is there, but we, we can still go down right before the boss room. I remember this room being right before the boss room, to be fair. To be honest. Alright. So, this is actually a bit of a maze. Not really. Very minor maze. Minor maze! Everybody's fa Oh, good lord. I forgot about you guys. Oh, man. I don't think you use your boomerang to stun them. Come on. I feel that takes way too long sometimes. Yeah, your boomerang is like... <laughs> What about bombs? What, what, what happened if I use a bomb against them? I'm an elephant! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Holy crap! Okay. Woo! Oh, you know, I still do have a fairy, though. I keep forgetting about that. Let's try using a bomb. Once we find another one, that is. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's dependent on the enemy you fight, that how many rupees you get. I mean, we've gotten orbs from keys before, and they've only given, like, one rupee each. Not one rupee, but a bunch of green rupees, I should say. I'm just waiting. I know there's gonna be at least one more evil zombie trying to eat my face. There's a zombie. You can also just say screw it, and um, what happened if I did this? Ooh! Is he seriously going to run to the bomb? Interesting. Ah, uh, I thought maybe I could take advantage of that. Oh no! Oh, holy crap! I got all of them in half a heart. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. That's a match for my life. You got a red rupee at 20 rupees. Look at a pleasant surprise. Yeah, pleasant surprise. Dude, that was definitely worth it. Uh, well, I mean, I am going for all the treasure chests in this game, so... <laughs> Guess I kind of need to do that. Alrighty. We're actually coming up to here to a uh, random... One of the, once again, one of those like random spots. I randomly remember this game. Randomly, random, random. I didn't think I said random enough there. Oh, I thought there was going to be a zombie in that one. A Stalfos, really? Oh, man. I did not know these guys would be back. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Let's see what he does with that one. Oh, cool. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, uh, uh. No, no, no. Come on. There we go. Oh, I don't have my skull hammer. That's the thing I needed. I think I just took it off to put my boomerang on. Oh, very no! Man, come on, quickly. They're actually immune to everything when, um, oh, no, no, uh, uh, immune to everything when they're, like, uh, getting their bodies back. I think there's actually a way for you to make them lose their legs or something like that. I don't remember how to do that, though, to be honest. There's another zombie in here. I feel like there's gonna be, no, there's not. Okay, yeah, this is one, this is one of those random memorable spots to me. For some reason, when Josh Jepson did his Let's Play this game, this is where he ended off an episode. I don't know why I remember that and why that's very significant to me, but it is. So, <laughs> I mean, we're actually coming off the time here anyway, so I might as well do the same thing and end the episode off here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're already. My name's Chris, and the next one, we'll break down this next tablet and continue onwards. Also, it's weird how they have all these standing tubes in this room. I don't understand why that's a thing, but it's a thing. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye, says Grumpy Link. Ah, what the fuck do you want? I'm fucking tired. I want to go to bed. I hate my life. Ah, oh, there's this annoying bird girl beside me. Ah. Oh. That's what Link's face says to me. Okay, bye.